Hey guys, as always, thank you for watching my videos. Um, today, something just set me off and I was like, I have got to make a video of it. So that's what I'm going to do, obviously. So today I'm going to do the dumbest things people say while dating. Um, it, just in general, I mean, these things are just dumb. Um, I'm going to start with one that happens usually when someone's just first getting in a relationship. So the first thing that someone does when they're just talking to someone is they ask this one question that just bothers me that people ask. And it's, what is your favorite color? Like, what on earth does that answer? Okay, so you're talking to someone and they're like, hey, let's get to know each other. Hey, we should talk more, whatever. And it's like, I feel like every girl asking me this question to start off with, like, well, what is your favorite color? I mean, is there some magical answer? Is blue the right answer? Is it green? I mean, I don't see how that's going to make you get to know me. Like, is by me having a certain color that you like or don't like going to determine whether you date me or not? That might be the absolutely dumbest question someone can ask is what is your favorite color? You know, now it's one thing if you're trying to decorate a place or if you're painting a room that's different to ask someone what's your favorite color but just for the heck of it to just be like yo what's your favorite color and you know expect to maybe get to know some of it that is absolutely dumb stop saying that next thing i actually saw this somewhere posted on facebook so you guys probably have seen this one before his clowns keep saying you're one in a million well last time i checked there's about seven billion people on earth which means there's seven thousand others just like you I don't want to think of 7,000 other people just like me that the person I'm talking to might consider being with. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's that's not really good, guys. Um, that's self-explanatory, so I'm just going to move on. All right, here's one a lot of people use when they're breaking up. I mean, someone's probably said it to you before. It probably ticked you off as much as it ticked me off. So I'm just going to go ahead and say it. It's the, it's not you, it's me. No, duh, it's you, not me. I mean, think about it. Let's think about this. Some girl is dating me. She goes to break up with me and says, well, it's not you, it's me. Well, yeah, because if I had it my way, we would still be together. So obviously, you know, you know, that doesn't make sense to, you know, go ahead and tell someone, well, it's not you, it's me. Uh, obviously, no matter whether it's this or that, you know, whoever's getting offended or getting upset, that's the person who caused it. I mean, I hate to say it, you know, the other person was perfectly fine. You know, it's, it's just ridiculous, guys. Stop saying it's not you. It's me. And another thing about that is that's the, the most bogus reason to break up with someone. Oh, it's not because let's be real. If you don't like someone for some certain reason, why don't you just tell them instead of trying to say it's not you, it's me. Stop being stupid. Us guys aren't fooled. You know, you guys who use on girls, girls aren't fooled. Come on, that's like the dumbest excuse. Come up with something better. Why don't you just straight up tell the person what's bothering you? Maybe you guys can work it out, which is going to bring me to the next thing. People keep saying, maybe we can try again in a year. You can try what again in a year? Getting in a fight again in a year? You're going to... You know, I hope that magically by not talking for one year, everything is going to happen. Like, oh, uh, if, the, if the dude has something he, he doesn't like or, you know, do you think by just not talking to him, you know, for a year, just magically he's going to like that? Or do you think that magically by, you know, you guys just separating, the fighting is going to stop, the argument is going to stop? Nah, stop being an idiot. If you want to fix things, go ahead and talk to him, tell him what's wrong, tell him what the problem is. Maybe it's he's moving too fast and you just, you know, all the feelings are getting to you, you know. The problem is you just like, well, maybe, maybe in a year. Which, again, is another bogus excuse because, I mean, most of us guys know that anytime y'all clowns say, um, hey, we're going to try, let, let's try again in a year. I've been told that by like two or three year olds. And anytime a girl says, hey, let's try again in a year, I have learned from my past experiences. For those of you who, so someone said it to you, move on. Just, just listen to me, please. I am begging you just move on because it's not going to happen again in a year do you really think that by you waiting for a year that they're going to be over there waiting for a year no if they wanted to be with you they would fix the problem right then and there you guys would be good to go 
do you think, you know, you're here for a year, you know, whatever, man, I'm going to change. You know, she says she wants this or she doesn't want that. Or, you know, if it's the other way, he says he wants this, he wants that. No, think about it. If he really wants to be with you, if she really wants to be with you, she'll get past that one little thing that bothers her, annoys her that you do. She'll just bring it up and you guys will be perfectly fine. So stop using that as another dumb excuse. Y'all stop. Oh, it just irks me. Y'all freaking immature clowns. All right. So next thing. Oh my gosh, this one, this one, this one, this one. This one's kind of like the, the the one with the color. When people say, "What kind of music you listen to?" Oh, so you're gonna you're gonna date me based on what my favorite band is? So if I don't like country, I, I say, seriously, some of these girls are like, "Oh, you don't like country?" Mm, 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 mm. Not gonna be with that guy, you know. So what if I like rock? I like country. I like whatever I like. I don't, you know. That should not be your sole determiner. I mean, think about it. If based on what someone listens to is the most important, I could say, oh, well, what's your favorite book? Oh, I don't like that book. I'm not going to date them. Do you see how stupid this sounds? So for those of you guys who are talking to someone, please don't say what kind of music you like to listen to. That's not a very good chat-up line, pick-up line, start-up line. That's the absolute dumbest thing. The only time you should say, you know, what music do you listen to is if the person is in the car and you're going through the radio stations and, you know, you're not sure what they want to listen to. They say, hey, like, what type of music do you like? Oh, you like that? Okay, I'm going to turn it on station, whatever. Think about it, guys. Let's not be ridiculous, you know. Next, this one, <clears throat> this is one that a lot of girls like to say, you know, not trying to, you know, pick on one group. All these girls, they're saying, you know, what do you like to do for fun? Do you really want to ask a guy what he likes to do for fun? I can give you about one guess and you're going to get it right what a guy wants to do for fun. Not ridiculous, not hard to figure out. Come on, guys. What do you guys like to do for fun? Well, next. This is kind of just like the one I just brought up. When girls want to bring up how many people have you slept with? And I, I should even say that. I mean, because there's some guys that will make this air and I guess ask a girl. Now, <clears throat> first off. If you just met someone, like there was this girl not too long ago, literally, I had talked to her and it was like the first day. One of the first things she says to me is, how many people have you slept with? Come on, come on, tell me tell me your number. First off, in nowadays age, too many clowns are going to lie. There's going to be people saying their number is way too high. There's going to be people who are going to be like, oh man, I don't want that person to be thinking I'm a crazy hoe. So they're going to be lower down their number. Guys, come on. Now it's one thing if you guys are in a relationship, you know, or, you know, you have been talking for a very long time. Then, yeah, you should probably know how many people or, you know, if that's that big of concern. But seriously, does someone's past determine what, you know, oh man, that person, you know, three or four years ago, dated this person, they were together for a couple years, and, you know, they had sex, and, oh, no, man, so I'm not going to date that person. I mean, if it's really that big of a deal to you, I can already tell you that person's not the person for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you were that concerned about what people did in their past, you know. Now, I am not saying that you should not be careful, because there's tons of people that have STDs, STIs, and I am not trying to get them. I hope you guys aren't trying to get them, and for those of you who have them, that's, I, I, I'm not going to even go there. But seriously, guys, stop doing all these things. They are ridiculous. They are annoying. Any person with common sense should not be saying this. And I hope you have common sense, even though it's not so common anymore, guys. Let's be real. If you say these things, you're just trying to, you know, start a conversation. You're just trying to use an excuse. It is ridiculous and it is freaking annoying. So stop. Okay. Bye, guys.